Hi everyone, in this beautiful video, I'm going to show you how to connect our PostgreSQL database with our QJS application. So I have my QJS application open. What I'm going to do is just like this, simple like that. So I'll just expand here my PostgreSQL, make sure you have this browser. If you don't have it, you just always go to view and panels, tick this here, browser, okay? So upon ticking, recent someone checking, or uh, going back again here, panels, then bring it back, I have it here. So you can always expand, then expand this PostgreSQL because I'm creating, I'm connecting a database which is already existing in PostgreSQL using QJS, I'll just create a new connection. So by creating a new connection here, I'll just write my name because I know the name of the database which I'm creating is QJS. As you can see it here, it's the name QJS here. So I'm connecting with my QJS. Then the host here is local host. For service, you can leave it blank port. Of course, I've installed in the port this one. The database, I'll QJS. Then the SSS mode, this is the security mode. You can say require allow for my case. I can keep it allow. Then just skip all the session role. Then the most important part is go to the basic here. This is where I you put your username, the connection. So I have my password. I mean, sorry, I have my username, which is Postgres. Okay. But the password, I know what's the password, so I'll just type it. Okay, then you can test the connection. You see, the connection was to QGIS was successful, so that means your password is okay and your username. Then you'll take some of the things, like for instance, uh, we'll like allow saving loading QGIS process in the database. This one also list tables with notion. Okay, fine, I'll take another one which is important. For instance, only shell is in the layer registries. So by, for that case, or you're gonna check it, you see, check it. I cannot check it. So this is the way of con of, of uh, actually connecting your, your PostgreSQL database with QJS. So upon clicking okay, that means expanding here, I have my QJS database now here. You see, it asks you for connection again, I'll connect, put my password. So I'm going to press on OK, it's connected. You see, see the public, you can see the schemas and everything. Because right now I don't have any data inside my database. It's just only like that public. So that's it. So this is the way of connecting your QJS using, I mean, you're connecting your database using QJS and PostgreSQL. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Gracias.